there are a few things to keep in mind when planning a road trip around Iceland. And in this video, I will go over how you can avoid some pretty expensive fine, which way you should take and road condition over the winter months, only to name a few. Hi everyone, my name is Kjartan and today we will talk about driving the ring road here in Iceland. The first question you might ask yourself is, how much time should I plan the ring road? Well, the ring road could technically be driven in only 13 hours without any stops on the way. However, then you would miss out on so much. We would recommend taking a week or even more for the journey as there is just so much to see and do along the way. Unexpected things can come up, like for example the unpredictable Icelandic weather. So, planning for more time and not overfilling the itinerary is key. We get a lot of different questions from people planning the ring road adventure, and many of them are regarding road condition over the winter months. Icelandic roads are well maintained, and snow plowers go over regularly on the main roads. It will not be as frequent on, as on less traveled roads, but you can monitor road conditions before heading off just using this website www.road.is. Just try clicking on the part of Iceland you are currently on or planning to head to to see the conditions before heading off for the day. Also, a big factor especially over the winter months, is the weather. From October until February, storms are common in Iceland and you would definitely not want to be caught off guard in case of one. Using the website weather.is, you can go over the weather prediction for the day. The website safetravel.is will also let you know of any dangers or warning due to weather or any natural disasters, such as frequent earthquakes in the area or flooding. You might think, due to all of these warnings and preparation, driving in Iceland must be too dangerous. But do not worry. Most of the year you will have no issue driving in Iceland, and most days it will be easy. You just have to be aware of the conditions you are heading into, as no one wants to be caught off guard. In summer, you have fewer worries, as the weather is usually better at the time. So, what time of the year is best to visit Iceland? Well, that depends on what you're coming to see here. If you're planning to take any F-roads or mountain roads, then you have to plan your trip over the summer months. The F-roads in Iceland open at the earliest at the beginning of June. but some do not open until early July. The openings of F roads depends on how well and quickly these roads recover after the winter. And there is no way to say the exact opening dates in advance. If your main reason for visiting Iceland is to visit Landmannalaugar, plan your trip at the end of June as the latest opening date of road F208 into Landmannalaugar is around the 26th of June. You would not want to travel all the way to Iceland to then not be able to go there. If you wish to see the Northern Lights, then you definitely do not want to aim for a visit in the summer. Summer in Iceland is bright and the days are long, with the sun setting around 11 pm and midnight in some months. And then during the night, it often doesn't seem to get completely dark, making there's no way to see the northern lights at this time of year. In order to actually drive the ring road in Iceland, you have to rent a car, and that is why I will also go over a few tips and must know about renting a car in Iceland. When renting a car in Iceland, you usually have to be 20 years old, 
Although some car rental companies like us here at Ice Rental 4x4 also allow 18 to 19 year old drivers for an additional young driver fee. All drivers must however have had their driver's license for at least 12 months in advance of the rental. Most car rentals will require to block an amount on your credit card on arrival as a security deposit. Make sure to have sufficient funds on your card. If you do not have a credit card or if you cannot provide the funds, you can often add insurance with the car rental and the security deposit will either be lowered or they might not need any security deposit at all. We here in Nice Rental, for example, do not require any security deposit in case of our insurance packets are added to the rental. Watch out for sheep. Over the summer here in Iceland, farmers allow their sheep to roam around the fields and it happens that they escape through the fences and get up on the roads. They can be subtle and jump up on the road without any notice. But please, do not slow way down when passing them, as that can also be dangerous if someone else is behind you. More accidents happen when drivers slow way down because of sheep on the side of the road than actually hitting the sheep. If you ever experience high winds while in Iceland, be very mindful of the direction of the wind when parking the car. Try your best to park the car against the wind's direction and hold the door with both hands when opening it. No insurance company in Iceland offers coverage on blown up car doors. The cost for the repairs may be hefty. One thing I want to mention is the fact that it's not often known by people that visit Iceland. On double lane roundabouts, the inner lane has priority. Please keep this in mind to avoid collision when exiting the roundabout. I also want to talk about few road signs that you may never have seen before. First of all is the speed camera sign. Speed cameras can be found all over Iceland. Fines for speeding is high, but there will always be a blue sign like this one before you get to the camera to warn you about it. So keep an eye out for that sign and know the speed limit. Blindhæð or a blind hill up ahead is a warning sign to let you know that you will not see oncoming traffic until you reach the top of the hill. You will also not know if there's any cyclist on the side of the road until you reach the top. Single lane bridges or tunnels are also rather common in Iceland. There are no single lane tunnels on the ring road, but they can be found in a couple of places outside the ring road that is still frequently traveled. Inside the single lane tunnels, one direction of the traffic has the right when you meet and the other direction should make way by stopping your car on the side of the road. You will see where these outskirts are by a blue sign with the letter M. The M stands for moat and in indicates that there is a place for you or the other direction to pull out of the way. If the sign is to your right, then you are the one who needs to move out of the way. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. If you have any questions about renting a car in Iceland, make sure to comment down below. So take care, drive safe and I'll see you next time.